Hello and welcome to this demo of how to view ASM data in Azure Analytics. So what we're going to show you is how to download and deploy a Cloud Logger I app and then take a look at the logging profile it creates within the Big IP system. We'll show you how to attach that profile to an object that is running ASM traffic. After that, we'll show you an example of an attack on an application in the resulting ASM violation log that is sent to Azure Analytics. First, we're going to start by downloading the iApp. You can go to F5 Network's page in GitHub, find the F5 Cloud iApps repository, find the developer branch, and then find the F5 Cloud Logger iApp with the template. Be sure to open the zipped file and navigate to the iApp, which can then be uploaded to the Big IP. Now we can log into the Big IP. So go to iApps, Templates, and click Import. Find the template, and then click Upload. Now we're going to go to Application Services, click the Create button, give it a name, and then reference the iApp template. Then you can fill out the options according to your environment. Once you click Finished and the IAP deploys successfully, the IAP creates a series of objects. Let's take a look at what it creates. The IAP created the ASM logging profile, so if you go to Security, Event Logs, Logging Profiles, you can take a look at it and how it's configured some settings based off the IAP. The next step is to take that logging profile and you attach it to virtual servers that have ASM enabled. In this example, we have the demo web application, so click on that and go to the Security tab, Policies, and look in the Log Profile section. Now in our example, we already have it in the Selected box, but if you're doing this for the first time, it would be in the Available box, and you would move it over to the Selected box. So here is our example application that we're going to run a directory traversal attack on. And you can see that ASM blocked it before it got to the pool member. And so now we're going to go take a look at it in Azure OMS uh, Log Analytics to take a look at that. So now we're going to take a look at the Azure portal. And here you can see a Log Analytics resource, which we will take a look at. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the raw data by clicking log search. What we'll do is type the log type that we used, which you can specify within the IAP. It gets appended with underscore CL in Azure. You can see that over the past day we've had about 25 hits that triggered a log message that made it into Azure and that's now available for consumption in analytics. Um, here's a single event, and we can see that it logged things like time, host, log source, big IP version, IP client of the attack, support ID, method, protocol, and it also shows you the full request. Um, now, if you click on this remediation link in the new browser, it will bring you back to that specific violation, and you can act on it from the big IP directly. You can delete, export, accept the request, whatever you want to do. Now let's say you have thousands of violations a day and you don't want to be looking through all the raw data. Go to OMS Workspace and click Overview to see the dashboard or written rules. And you can click into the ASM violations and to see what's happened in the last 24 hours. Here we're looking at unique source IPs that triggered ASM violations. As you can see, this would be a good way to see if you have a single source that's triggering a large percentage of ASM violations. You can look at violation types. ASM categorizes the different violations that were attempted into different types to better help you determine what to do about them, and you can act on those accordingly. And if you had multiple ASM devices, you could see those here to see if specific big IPs fronting your web applications have more attacks than others. And that's basically it. You can take a look at the information any way that Azure states that log analytics data can be looked at. Um, you can parse it any way you like. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, go to the documentation section on support.f5.com.